Yeah, with the uh, inner squad scrimmage we had this afternoon, uh, I saw a lot of good things. Some obviously some things we have to work on, uh, especially defensive wise and maybe pace of play wise. But overall, I'm, I'm very happy with uh, the performance of uh, pretty much all our players, and uh, it was very well uh, executed, and, and uh, everyone played the right way. And uh, it's one of the and I've been doing this a long time. And it's uh, one of the one of the smoothest and, and uh, kind of impressive preseason scrimmages inner squad games uh, I've seen a lot of that. Uh, uh had a very good year for us last year. You know, averaged uh, 14, 15 points and, you know, four or five rebounds and uh, obviously one of the most athletic players in our league and uh, kind of ran up and down the floor and fly through there. And But uh, today we saw even a little more control uh, with his game. He's, he's kind of gets a little uh, out of control and maybe turns the ball over and makes silly decisions. And uh, tonight, you know, he, he was eight for 14 and had seven rebounds and a few assists and no turnovers, so we're happy with that and his performance, and uh, Tyrell has uh, has been one of the, he was the most improved player on our team last year when I took it over. I just got better and better and worked hard in practice and became uh, one of our best defenders, especially in the playoffs, and now he's really worked on his game in the offseason, and it really shows. He's, he's under control, he's pushing the ball, his shot looks a lot better, uh, and he still has that tenacious, uh, tenaciousness and, and attitude that made him a great defender, so we're really excited with the way our, our returners uh, played. Also, Cordell played uh, uh, spare minutes for us, but uh, once again, you know, he's so solid as a veteran in this league and, and you know, knows his capabilities and really solid as his play. And, uh, you know, we played him early and then we played him late in the last couple minutes of a tight game. And, uh, of course, he got a rebound put back to uh, tie up the game at the buzzer. Yeah, and we have, you know, we're having a very competitive uh, camp and, uh, you know, that's, that's why the way I do it is I let the assistant coaches coach and I pretty much stand, uh, sit off in, in, in an angle and watch and I'm really evaluating and taking the time because when you're running practice or coaching your game it's hard to evaluate sometimes because you're looking at a lot of different things and when you when you step out and, and look at maybe I can focus on a matchup or a single guy or it's really important to the evaluation and the decisions that we're going to have to make and you know getting down to a 12 player roster and uh, uh, it, it's our 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 camp is very, very competitive. Uh, I've let go five guys tonight, and, and more than a couple could play in our league, and that's going to happen with the last three cuts. And, you know, quite frankly, uh, guys had uh, in the scrimmage have played themselves back into the into the mix, and, you know, maybe one or two have played them uh, outside the mix a little bit. So it's very, very important. It's good to get us in a time situation with a clock and a score, regular 12-minute uh, quarters and referees out there to see you know how they handle the refereeing and, and can they out of foul trouble and uh, you know uh, scoring clock situations are very important and we got to see it firsthand even though we're playing ourselves.